Hello everyone, Ronnie J here again. Uh, in this short video, I want to talk about do you need a website? In other words, if you want to set up an internet radio station, do you need a website? Do you need a, uh, a website if you want to use SAM Broadcaster? Well, let me answer this question. If you want to use SAM Broadcaster, no, uh, these are two different things. But if you want to set up an internet radio station, the answer to that question is yes. Uh, for example, uh, here's my um, internet radio station website, uh, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, and uh, this you know, I designed this all by myself. You don't need to hire a web developer unless you want to, and if you do, it's going to cost you perhaps a thousand, several thousands of dollars or more. But uh, I have set up some tutorials that teach you exactly how to get this look if you want or a different look, but you can do, all, do it yourself. You don't need to hire anyone to do it. But, yes, uh, if you want to set up an internet radio station, you will want to have a website because you need a front door. You know, you want your visitors to be able to go to a place where they can listen to your station. And I highly recommend that when you set up an internet radio station, uh, don't just have something on the website that just has a player on it where people can click and listen to your streams. Give them additional content. Uh, uh, let me give an example here. On the Rip Radio Smooth Jazz website, when people land here, uh, I have some links up here in the menu. I'll go through a few of these in a few moments. But as they scroll down, you know, at, right at the beginning, they can see exactly what the website is about. Uh, a silky smooth jazz radio station streaming out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Enjoy the vibes and the frequencies. So they know that this is a smooth jazz radio station, so that they're told that right off the bat. They scroll down, they can see that there's a player here that they can easily click on. And this is what you want. You want to make it very easy for your visitors to your website to listen. When they click on that player, they'll be taken to uh, this page. And this is a legal requirement. If you're going to be streaming a copy uh, uh, content, do not operate uh, an internet radio station without the proper licensing. So. get flagged by YouTube for playing copyrighted music but uh, it's okay to to do this from the website so I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss that but you want to have that set up that's very easy to do and but you also want to give visitors something else you want to give them additional content and what I've done uh, I publish a smooth jazz top 20 countdown every week and here's one for uh, the week of uh, January the 18th, uh, 2020. And I have a listing here of all the top 20 smooth jazz artists that are getting the most popular airplay for the week of January the 18th. And uh, you can click on these uh, images here and it'll take you to uh, another portion or part of the website where one can read more about that particular artist in this case a uh, Lisa Adeo and she's number one and they can read a, a bio about her and look at her discography they can scroll down then they can actually buy her album or her single and this would have your uh, amazon.com affiliate link on there so this is a way to monetize your website okay now going back to the home page there's additional information that uh, uh, listeners in my local area, which would be in the Virginia slash uh, Washington DC metro area, they can scroll down and they can see what's new and what's hot in the area. And we have, uh, for example, Lucas D will be uh, in uh, Richmond, Virginia, March 19th. Uh, Willie Bradley will be in Richmond on March 26th. So I keep my website visitors current on what's happening and uh, it's just you give them you give your visitors additional places to go on your website to, uh, to to lounge around in it's like a person coming into going to a museum well you know you, you want to spend some time in there checking things out so you want to give your visitors places on your website just to check out you want to keep them on the website as long as possible because when you do that then you know they're listening to your 
to your stream, to your vibe, to your to your frequencies, you know, so to speak, you know, your personality, and you want to have your personality in your radio station. You want to be yourself. You want to be someone else. I can't be anyone other than myself, Ronnie J, because there's only one of me, right? Like there's only one of you. And uh, so they come here, and there's other things that they can engage in. They can go to the blog page here. They can, uh, here's something I'm setting up here on how to make passive income. Uh, I not only have a broadcasting background, literally, <laughs> uh, but I also uh, have uh, a background in how to make money on the internet. And so they can click on this while they're listening to the station from here because that player is running in the background. And I'm getting this built up. I have a, a little ways to go, but there's enough information here right now where if a person wants to engage on a journey learning how to make passive income off of the internet, this is the way that they, they can do it. Uh, it's not just from radio station. You can monetize your, your website, internet radio station website, and I'm doing that. As you can see, there, there are banners here, but there are other ways that one can make money on the internet. And so this is another way to keep them in the house, so to speak, and so they can play around in here. And you're going to find in the Sam Broadcaster uh, tutorial series that I'm creating, I'm going to refer individuals back to these tutorials right here because I don't have to reinvent the wheel. For example, uh, in this video, the question is, do you need a website? Yes. Well, how do you get a website? What is the process of going through that you have to go through to get a website? Well, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'll simply refer individuals to uh, these tutorials here. And they can come here and learn about that. Then go back and view the next tutorial on Sam Broadcaster. So these are great opportunities here. You just simply do all you can to keep your listeners engaged. Now, uh, people in general, I'm saying in general, they have a very short attention span. So if they like your music, if they like smooth jazz, then they're going to hang around, right? If they can be at work, they can be studying and they have your, your radio station pulled up. Or you may have individuals who are saying, you know what, I would love to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month, five hundred dollars a month, a thousand dollars a month or more passively. Well, here's the way one can do it. The best ways and 2020 to make passive income. All at the same time, having an internet radio station. There are other ways that you can use your website, um, internet radio station website to uh, make money. You can contact uh, local businesses in your area and uh, you can start up a deal with them and say, hey, look, I can give your business some exposure. You know, once you get your listener base built up, and uh, you charge them a certain amount of money. You can ask, look for sponsors who may want to place their ads or banners on your website. You can give them shout outs during a live broadcast and say, hey, look, uh, so-and-so, they have a whole stock of uh, cars, uh, brand new, factory fresh, and um, they'll give you a great deal. Why not pay them a visit? Or you can literally go down to different businesses and you can do interviews with them and you can record those and uh, give them um, some air some air time uh, on your station, and the more you play their uh, their ads, they pay you for that. See, these are sponsorships. So uh, where I live, there are thousands, tens of thousands of businesses, and these are small businesses, medium sized to large businesses that I can contact and say, hey, look, I have a radio station set up here, and it's the only. Uh, Spool Jazz Radio Station in this area uh, where I live. And uh, hey, here's an opportunity. Uh, there can be local events that are going on in town that I can um, publish out to those who listen to my station via the internet and they can be informed. So the sky is the limit. And even if there are, say, concerts or events within the area, you attend those and you try to get a short uh, interview with uh, a smooth jazz artist. It doesn't have to be anything long. Um, a lot of smooth jazz artists will actually give you um, what's called a voice uh, a shout out. For example, they'll say something like, uh, 
this is say Nick Colleone. Um, check out Ronnie J at Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, the smoothest jazz radio station on the planet. You know they'll they'll gladly do that if they can get airtime or airplay on your station. And plus, uh, operating an internet radio station is fun. It's not expensive at all. People think that it's expensive. In the beginning, it was. One of the major issues that one would find with running an internet radio station is licensing. And you're going to find that uh, a lot of these stream host providers who provide you hosting packages to stream your um, internet radio station, they tend to avoid the subject of licensing. And that, in, that, in my opinion, is the number one issue with operating an internet radio station because you want to be legal. You don't want to stream copyrighted music because if because you can be sued. So you want to make sure that before you turn your station on and you start streaming copyrighted music, you want to make sure that you are 100% legal. And I'm going to talk about that. Where many people don't like to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it because I don't want anyone to get sued. In fact, I switched off Rip Radio Smooth Jazz for quite some months because there were licensing issues and it wasn't any fault of my own. It was the company in which I had, uh, uh, had was getting my licensing through. They just uh, closed their doors. And so I had to shop around to find alternative licensing to keep the station illegal. And I had it was really hard labor doing that, so I shut the station off. Now I found a great worry-free licensing company and they're not expensive and they keep my station legal. So I don't have to worry about uh, being sued by uh, musical artists who catch me playing their music without their authorization, uh, without being legal because, hey, these guys, they, they put in lots of work into their, their art, into their craft, and they deserve to get paid their royalties. Well, the licensing company that I'm with, they take care of that for me, and I get charged a certain fee each month, and it's, it's not ex expensive at all. And if you do it right with regards to operating your radio station and monetizing it, uh, what you bring in, in every month pays for your licensing. Initially, that's not going to happen because you have to build up a, a listener base. But in time, you will build up a listener base and you'll get advertisers and sponsors coming in who will pay you to advertise on your website. And you will, you know, and that alone will more than pay for your licensing fee and other fees that uh, will be incurred with operating a internet radio station that includes your hosting for your, your website. Uh, uh, you will need to have a web host divider. And I'll talk about these, these things in subsequent videos, so don't worry. But just giving you an overview. But there are costs to operating an internet radio station. But I'm telling you, telling you, overall, it is not expensive. The most work that you put into operating an internet radio station will be getting your website set up because you want it to be nearly perfect and you're and keeping it fresh with content and uh, I'll talk about those things as well okay so in answer to the question to the beginning of this video yes you will want a website for your internet radio station that only makes sense okay so that's it and uh, in the next video I'll talk about uh, just how to do that this is Ronnie J take care